Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cardboard Engine Shed. This is sort of a progress report, in a way, of the, my uh, two and a half inch gauge uh, cardboard LNER B1. So not much has changed on the engine. I've added the uh, handrail knobs, still haven't added any handrails because I'm sort of working out a way to do that. Uh, painted the smoke box and I've added a thin layer of card on the edge of the running board so you can't can't see the corrugation in the cardboard. Of course, I've added what I think is a speedometer here at the angle the wheels are at. It's hard to see it, but um, I've also added counterweights to the wheels. Um, brake shoes, not accurate and they don't work either, but at this scale it's sort of hard to do that. And then, of course, um, other than the engine... There is the tender. Now, uh, I don't necessarily enjoy making tenders because they're often they start out to be a bit boring. I mean, they're just boxes on wheels, but I'm actually quite happy with how this tender came out. I think it's a bit short. You can see the coal bunker is a bit messy, but um, that shouldn't be an issue once it's painted. Of course, it's not complete yet. It's got obviously the uh, brake levers, I suppose you could call them. Of course, the water filler. Thing. <laughs> I'm not sure what a lot of components are called, but um, obviously the step ladders on the back and a lot of handrails. The lamp irons can't actually hold lamps, but at this scale, again, it's quite hard to do. And I have bought some, I think, gloss black and gloss apple green to paint the engine in. And that is, of, of course, um, as it's the same as the last update. All of the components, uh, the boiler and the cab, are removable. I won't do it because it takes a while to put them all back. But one feature which is, well, I'm not going to call it a feature, I'm going to call it a fault, is that it's quite hard to see, but if you look closely, you can sort of see the running boards are ever so slightly tilted forwards. Now, it's very annoying, and I don't like it, but it's I can't see why it's doing it, and it's not very easy to change, but you can see it's very slight, and if I just turn the engine round... It is a bit more obvious on the other side. It's more obvious to me than it is looking through the camera, but it's quite <laughs> unsettling in a way, and I don't really like it. But, uh, yeah, it's not very nice that the running boards are tilted. You can't really see it on camera, can you? I don't think so, but there will hopefully be a way to fix that, though. And uh, this is quite a short episode, but, of course, I'll show a video of the uh, engine running.